like that, but... And I actually didn't touch zombies for... For quite a while. For quite a while. Because I was scared of it. I mean, when you're... When you're 12... And you, you're, you're given a zombie apocalypse-esque zombie mode. Because that's exactly what Transit was, essentially. It was essentially a zombie apocalypse game mode. It was the only map that wasn't, like, far-fetched, you know? I mean, moon, a moon facility, for example. You know, all that stuff. This was very zombie apocalyptic-esque. And that is a... And I was scared to play it for a little while. Because when you're that young... You know, you, you kind of get scared a little bit easier. But, uh... Wow, I just killed the whole... The, the rest of the round, damn it. That's unfortunate. I, was, I really want to pack a bunch of my wave gun. Hopefully at the end of the next round we can. But... So I was playing that game for a while, and I didn't play zombies until about... Okay, do I want to go all the way over there and get Tunnel 6 done? Because Tunnel 6 tends to be the route I go most of the time. Yes. We'll take care of it at the end of this round. As long as it's available at the end. As long as it's not destroying it at the end of this round. So, anyways. I, I can't remember exactly when I first when I first played Zombies. When I wasn't scared of it anymore. But anyways, I, I jumped on and my first maps were Town, Farm, Bus Depot, and Transit. So, I have a lot of nostalgia for those maps and Die Rise, which is, if you guys missed my unpopular opinion video from a very long time ago, which was, you know, a thinking, which was Die Rise is a good map, that was one of the bigger reasons why I started to really like that map. So, I'm very, very excited for Black Ops 2 Zombies. We also have, of course, New Town Zombies as well, which was a massive... Which was a very exciting map for a lot of people. It was only season pass, season pass exclusive, so you had to get the season pass, or you had to get a special edition of Black Ops 2 to get that, to get that map. So it was very rare, and not a lot of people had it, of course, until about halfway through its life cycle, where it became available for everyone. And so that map we're going to be playing as well in this series. So it'll go Transit, Nuke Town, and then Die Rise, of course. But that was. Very, very exciting as well. Or actually, would it go Nuketown Transit? Hmm. I'm not sure how I want to divide that up. I think I think I'll do Transit first, then Nuketown. But, yeah, so those were my very first zombie maps. Imagine that. Someone very new to zombies playing on Transit for the first time. Sounds kind of, sounds kind of crazy, doesn't it? But yes, that was my very first zombie map. So I have a lot of nostalgia for it. And I am very excited to play it. So... So, I mean, it's a, it's a fun map to play, like, every once in a while, and then it's not fun to play. Like, imagine, like, over, over the, of course, the past couple of months, there's been retrospective series on content creators' channels and stuff like that, talking about transit for two months and stuff, for three months and stuff like that, which just sounds terrible. Especially if you're a very strict Zombies player, and you're just playing transit all the time, that map would be completely dull very very quickly but it's, i really enjoy playing that map every once in a while and by once in a while i mean like maybe once a year or or sometimes less but this will be my first time playing transit in probably two years no probably a year probably about a year and we ended the round anyway okay i need to be more careful we need to stop ending we need to really stop ending rounds Because Tunnel 6 is going to get decompressed, and we're not going to be able to go get it. Because I'm not going to go down stupidly for something that really doesn't matter that much at this point. Because we still have Tunnel 11. We still have Tunnel 11. And we still have our PES. So our pro at the end of this round, let's hope I actually save a zombie. We can go ahead and do that. So, But yeah, so th that was my first map. Crazy. I know. Well, I'm, I'm overall just very excited to play Black Ops 2 in general. That that Zombies game is incredible. And how, how, ho, Houses, I think that's the right word. Houses is one of my favorite maps of all time, which I will talk about when I get to it. But, and then of course we're on to Black Ops 3 as well after Black Ops 2. 
I'm not even sure if we're gonna get all the way through Black Ops 3 before Black Ops Cold War comes out, because at this current moment, the, the, the teasers and stuff for that are, are you know, are going, going on and stuff like that, so I'm not even sure if I'll be able to actually record it. So, record all of it until the end, so we'll, we'll just have to see. We'll just have to see what happens. I mean, part of me does think I'll have, I'll be able to get through it all, but we only have, I think I could probably count the amount of weeks that we have left being, well, probably by this Thursday, we'll probably get an official like reveal or an official trailer, not these kind of annoying teasers that we've been getting for the past, past week or so. So hopefully that happens very, very soon. Because then I'll be able to count, you know, the weeks and how quickly we'll be able to get through this series. And whether or not we'll be able to get through it or not. So we'll have to see. Max ammo. I'm still going to pack a bunch of my wave guns right now. Because then we don't have to leave. If I get those, if I get it pack punched, then we don't have to leave this area. So, luckily, this thing kills one zombie at a time, so we don't have to worry about. We don't have to worry about ending the round on accident, unless we just kill the wrong zombie, or unless I get trigger happy and kill the rest of the zombies in the game. But I think I'm good now. Okay, now I should be good. Nope, not quite. As I said, these spawns are not good on this map, that's for sure. Okay, alright, let's head. Get this wave gun pack-a-punched, and then we don't have to leave for the rest of the game. Hacker, hacker, hacker. Well, it's not around here, which means it's probably down here. Nope, not there. Nope, not there. Not there either. There we go. This looks like nice set of tools. There is the hacker. Luckily, we have pistols, so we can kind of zoom through this very quickly. Go, 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 go. The moon. Zombies disappear into the gloom. Come on, come on, come on. There we go. I really don't want to go down there. That would really suck. All right, come on. We got to pack a bunch of this very quickly. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. There we go. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Got ourselves the Zap Gun Dual Wield, and let's not go down. Let's get back to the map. I don't even want to risk it here, because it's a great training spot, but you can easily, easily go down here, and that's not something I really want to happen, so. If this is go, go, go. Okay, I just want to get some air very quickly, so we don't go down. And then, okay, it's not that one, it's this one. Okay, there we go. Alright. So now we want to go tunnel 11. If we want to hold on to the hacker. So let's go. Beautiful. Now we're good. I think we're okay. Yeah, we are. We're good. Must 
get air, but low gravity. Oh, oh gosh. There we go. Perfect. We're good. Now we can pretty much, I'm hoping we can stay in one place the whole time. The only reason we'll, we'll move for the rest of the game is if we get ourselves a massive, massive decompression of biodome. Okay, that's almost like, that's almost bad news. That's a lot of hits to kill that guy. Damn. All right, but we'll we'll just have to see. I mean, if it, if it comes mid round and goes for the biodome, then we're screwed. But I think we should be good. So now we can pretty much just play now. Actually, we definitely can just play now, which is good. And I'm gonna try and get through these rounds as fast as possible, so we can, you know. So I can get this, sec this third part uploaded for you guys. Even though this is probably not the third part. What I'm recording right now. It's probably the probably the fourth or fifth part at this point. I'm not sure how long I've been recording for. But I know I've been recording for quite a while. So but yeah. So I guess right now I could talk about Black Ops 5 Zombies. Because you know being that Black, Black Ops Cold War. Is currently being revealed pretty heavily. I don't think it would hurt to talk about Black Ops Cold War and what I would like to see from that zombies mode within that game. And I mean, the obvious one is I want to see some Cold War themed maps. I mean, while I really enjoyed some of the themes of Black Ops 3 and Black Ops 4's maps, specifically maps like Shadows of Evil from Black Ops 3, I really like the the era that that map took place in, you know, Drys and Drac with World War 2. Stuff like that, basically. But what I really want to see is I want to see some more Black Ops Cold War or Cold War era type maps. Like, that's what I really liked about Black Ops 1 is that, you know, is that this was a Cold War era thing, you know, space race and stuff like that. Um, we also had Ascension, which again, space race. And I, I just would like to see some some Cold War themed maps, specific, specifically a Vietnam map, a map, a map that takes place in Vietnam. I think that would be super, super fun, super cool for a zombies map. I mean, you could have like Vietnamese zombies and stuff like that. Basically, like sort of like Zetsubo and Shino Numa, but different, a, a different type of jungle map within Vietnam. That would be super, super cool. Imagine if they did like a foxhole zombies map. Like, a map that was, like, underground in the foxholes of Vietnam. That would be a very creepy map. It would also be a very fun map. So, that's that's a map I'm definitely looking forward to as well. I'm also looking... F I also would like to see maps... Every single map cater to every single... Pl every, every single play style. So, casual and... So, both casual and... Serious or whatever you would call it. So, you know, that's that's something that zombies needs to do. I mean, both Black Ops Four and Black Ops Three both catered towards very serious zombies players. You know, you know, challenging Easter egg. Challenging Easter egg, buildable boss weapon, or buildable wonder weapon, tons and tons of steps. And I would like some some maps within Black Ops Cold War to be catered towards a more casual audience because, you know, zombies mode, zombies originally started out as a casual mode and kind of turned into a competitive mode. And while I understand that they did that for the nature that they have to, you know, they have to advance and they have to make things fresh and stuff like that. I think it kind of killed zombies a little bit for some of the not as competitive or not as serious zombie players. So I would like to see a mixture, a good mixture of both serious and casual zombies now. So for example, Grad Crovey has a complicated storyline driven Easter egg. It's, it's definitely not the easiest map ever, but it has a box related wonder weapon, which makes the map more casual. Same with Black Ops 1. Every single map in Black Ops 1 had a in box wonder weapon which 
help the casual play if you don't you didn't have to do very many steps all you had to do was do one simple thing jump into the game and grab yourself a wonder weapon from the box no steps turn on power grab your perks grab your wonder weapon from the box and play zombies that is how zombies should be in some ways i mean i would what i so basically how i would like it to be is i would like them to divide it up so for example they have a giant storyline driven dlc map so for example like a drizen direct type map that they release you know for the dlc season of course i assume that all the zombies maps will be free this year uh due to the fact that you know their activision is going to a mostly free dlc system so i would assume that most of the maps nowadays or for black ops cold war are going to be free so what i would want to see is they have one like giant storyline driven easter egg type map and then halfway between that map and the next dlc map or earlier than that they could even do two between that have a have a survival casual map like town or Doris. that i think would really really get more players into zombies number one and number two would keep the zombies mode fresh because i mean if you have the same dlc for for days and days and days zombies get stale of course and then you see you see these content creators move over to different games while they wait for the new zombies map to come out if there was always a fresh zombies map you know obviously they couldn't push out a zombies map every week that would be way too much work for the developers and would be very stressful but what they if they could you know put a, a standard survival map for the casual player base then that would be awesome I mean, then there would be a ton of maps within the game for people to play of all skill levels, which would would do nothing but expand and make zombies even more popular, which would be just super, super, super cool.